I'm a very visual person, and I think most people are. Um, when you talk about computer models and simulations, um, it's hard for them to understand what all the variables are and how they interact. But you, there are tools now that if you um, want to show them explicitly what the dependencies are among variables, you can create a Bayesian network as an example. Um, for a strategy, um, it's very useful to have the balance scorecard because it's a very visible linkage um, between what the learning and growth of the individuals are, what the company's internal processes are, um, what the customer needs are and what the profit, uh, the value proposition, and what the stakeholder financial objectives are. So yeah, I, I would say that the balance scorecard is something that is it's very useful. It's widely employed. It was developed by a couple of professors up at the Harvard Business School. Um, and I've used that uh, balance scorecard. I think you're really getting to a core issue in terms of when you bring up the CEO um, and uh, taking on something like the balance scorecard, that's a whole new paradigm. And uh, you, what you have to have then is some real change leadership. Some people call it change management. Cotter calls it change leadership, where the, the guy at the top develops a, a coalition for change. So the CEO does need to get on board and say, this is the way we're going to do go about doing it. Um, he then needs to um, solidify uh, the understanding of what the mission is, what the vision is, and then say this is the way we're going to go about developing a strategy using a balance scorecard where we develop these and, and articulate very explicitly the linkages between what the financial goals are, what the stakeholders want, the, the shareholders or whatever the case may be, what is required with your value proposition to satisfy the customer so that they're delighted, and then what the internal processes need to be.